All right, so we've come to the guided practice part of our lesson, and we are going to be looking at Susie's research notebook. She is now on slide seven of her research notebook, and she's about to organize her research note cards under subtopics. So let's go ahead and do this slide with Susie to see how we will do our own when it's time for the independent practice. The first thing Susie needs to do is to copy and paste her final revised research question into this green box. You will notice that she's already done that. You can find the final revised research question on slides two through four of the notebook. I'll just make sure that what you copy and paste is your final revised research question. Here are the instructions for choosing research subtopics. Number one, read the content on each note card on the previous slide, that would be slide six. Based on the information you've gathered, choose two or three subtopics that will clearly address your research question. Then you're going to type each subtopic into one of the shapes, subtopic one, two, and or three. Finally, copy and paste each completed note card from the previous slide to the appropriate subtopic on this page. Note, you may have some note cards that do not fit under any of your subtopics. So let's go ahead and take a look at slide six and see some of the note cards that she has. Now, interestingly, Susie's slide six already kind of organizes her note cards. So if you look at the topic or the descriptions here, she's got impact of technology, impact of technology, impact of technology, impact of technology. That is clearly one of her subtopics. One of her subtopics is definitely going to be looking at the impact of technology on bullying. You will notice that it's here in her research question as well. How has evolving technology in recent decades impacted bullying? So for subtopic one, Susie's going to make that technology's impact on bullying. Now we need to find a second subtopic, at least another one. Her question says, how has evolving technology in recent decades impacted bullying and how it's addressed in schools? Let's take a look at what her previous note cards include. So on this one here, let's get to the right slide, slide six. Addressing bullying in schools. Addressing bullying in schools. Happer Horsham bullying policy, which one would assume is also addressing bullying in schools and how schools can help. I do see a theme of schools, but only three of these note cards seem to be dealing with how it's addressed in schools. When I look at her research question, it does mention how bullying is addressed in schools. So that should clearly be my next subtopic. Subtopic one is technology's impact on bullying, and my subtopic two will be how bullying is addressed in schools. So now I have my two subtopics. I'm looking at my research question, how has evolving technology in recent decades impacted bullying and how it's addressed in schools? I think my two subtopics cover it. I don't see a need for a subtopic three. Since it's optional, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. My essay is only going to have two subtopics. Now I'm ready to move on to number four, which is copying and pasting each completed note card under the correct subtopic. So this is going to be easy for the impact of technology because all of these are about the impact of technology. So what I'm doing right now is I'm selecting them. I clicked on the first one and then I pressed shift, kept my finger on the shift button and just clicked all the others. So I've actually selected four of these. I'm gonna go ahead and copy, control C, or Command-C if you're using a Mac. Then I'm going to go to slide seven and check this out. Control-V or Command-V. I'm just gonna pa paste all of those right there. It's still selected, so I'm gonna use my arrow key to kind of bring that down a bit under subtopic one. And there I have it. I have all of my subtopic one note cards. Now I know that all of these note cards are about technology's impact on bullying because Looking at the description of each of these note cards, they all say impact of technology. This is why it's so important to have clear descriptors for your note cards, because it makes it easier when you're trying to draft your paper or organize your note cards. 
If your title is not clear enough, you actually have to go in and read each note card to see where it falls. Now I'm going to see if I can get note cards for how bullying is addressed in schools. That's going to be pretty easy as well based on the subtopics and descriptions that I've given my note cards. I see that the top three here, one, two, three, are all dealing with how bullying is addressed in schools. Actually, I'm gonna do the first two only. Just in case you're not sure about the Happer or Horsham one, let me copy and paste those and put them right here. Now I'm going to check out the one from Happer or Horsham and I'm going to verify to see that it actually does have information that answers my question. So I'm gonna pull it over here and it says, the district may develop and implement bullying prevention and intervention programs. Such programs shall provide district staff and students with appropriate training for effectively responding to, intervening, and reporting incidents of bullying. Yep. I definitely think that this is showing how schools in Happer Horsham are addressing bullying. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it on and paste it onto slide. So I have three note cards that show how bullying is addressed in schools. This last note card, which says the heading is how schools can help. And it says, establish a safe and supportive environment based on respect and inclusion that supports all students. Students need to see teachers and staff proactively and consistently engage in bullying prevention in the classroom and throughout the school. Um, while this note card does talk about something that schools can do, it's not really telling me how schools are actually addressing bullying. So that's not going to fit under subtopic two. But I think it's information that could be pretty useful maybe in my conclusion paragraph. I'm not sure if or how I'd use this note card. I don't want it to get lost. I know that the instructions say that I don't have to use all of my note cards. So I'm definitely not gonna put that one under one of my subtopics because it doesn't fit. But I think I may be able to use it somewhere. So I'm just gonna place it underneath here, kind of as a floater. It doesn't fit under subtopic one and it doesn't fit under subtopic two, but I think I might be able to weave it into my conclusion paragraph, maybe. So I'm just gonna put it there for now. All right, so I seem to be finished with slide seven of my research notebook, except there's this yellow box here. It says in one sentence, use your subtopics to answer the research question above. Okay, and that's gonna be my thesis statement or claim. So my research question says, how has evolving technology in recent decades impacted bullying and how it's addressed in schools? So I'm gonna take this question and make it into a statement or my thesis statement. And I'm going to say, the evolution of technology in recent decades has not only impacted bullying, so that takes care of subtopic one, has not only impacted bullying, but also how schools address it. That takes care of subtopic two. All right, so if you look at my thesis statement here, you will see that I have actually addressed both subtopic one and subtopic two. The evolution of technology in recent day, decades has not only impacted bullying, there's my subtopic one, but also how schools address it. There's my subtopic two. Notice the thesis statement or claim is only one sentence and it must directly answer your research question. Now it's your turn to complete slide seven of your research notebook.